Hey everyone, this is Heidi. Uh, you can't see me because I'm right now filming a little bit of uh, my flowers that are starting to bloom in the garden. And today's project that I'm going to experiment with is pressing flowers using my microwave. So speeding up the process instead of just putting them in a book and waiting a few weeks or a flower press with some weights on it. I'm going to see how this method works with using the heat of the microwave. It will dry out the flower with some weights and uh, it should be fun. So I'm going to clip some of these and see what we can do. Okay, so I picked some flowers and we'll see how this works. I'm curious, I think I might have to trim the uh, center of some of these just because it is so thick compared to the petals. Um, and here's a zinnia that's kind of not developed. Usually zinnias have a lot more petals, but um, this will work out really great because it doesn't have as much density for the pressing. And I have a spearmint flowers. The bees really love those. And I've got a couple cosmos flowers. Those are some of my favorite. They're delicate though, so we'll see if I don't go too far with it. And I got a small black-eyed Susan and some of these dandelion flowers. So for this project we're going to need a microwave, uh, parchment paper or paper towel, but I like parchment paper because it's smoother. Sometimes paper towel has that texture and um, on something like a fine petal like this uh, it's going to leave that texture on there so um, I think the parchment's a good way to go. And then you want a heavy flat bottomed object. So I have here a nice glass pie plate. It's got some good surface that I can use to weight uh, the flowers when they're in the microwave. And so let's get this assembled and I'll put it in the microwave and see how this goes. So I decided to start off with the spearmint and so I've just laid it on the parchment and um, folding that halfway over. We'll place this in the microwave. And I have a glass plate in the microwave that rotates. Um, not everybody does. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can just set it, you know, on the microwave or maybe on another plate in the microwave. And then I'm going to place this plate. Now I'm only going to do a few of these at a time just because they're all different, you know, plants and densities. And also I just don't have that much space. So you can see the plate is pretty much covering giving weight to the flowers. Uh, okay. And now we're going to try it out. We're just going to start with a minute and 30 seconds and we're going to lower the cook power. I'm going to put it at a four, just under halfway. And start. Okay, so that was about a minute and a half, and the plate is actually not hot yet. It might get hotter though the more times I put it in the microwave, so it's always good to have you know, something like an oven mitt to take that out of the microwave with in case it's hot. Alright, let's see. I can feel, and you can even see all that moisture that's on the parchment paper, so I don't think these are finished yet. Yeah, they're pretty wet. But it's getting, getting there. You can see there's, um, you can see it's a little flatter now. So I'm going to put this in for about another 30 seconds at that same power of four. Because I just want to go a little bit at a time, um, so I don't happen, to, you know, I don't want to overdo, the, you know, getting the plants dried out. Okay, so here we are after just another 30 seconds, and I'm going to put it in for another 30 seconds. Um, I'll probably just keep doing that a couple more intervals until they're fully dry. Um, another indicator that they're not quite ready yet is the fact that the parchment paper has a lot of moisture on it. So once the paper is dry as well, there's no more uh, water coming out of the plants, and so it's pretty safe to say that they're, they're dried, but they're definitely much flatter than when I put them in the first, before I, you know, at the start of the process. And now here they are. I actually, 
I said I was going to do t a couple more at 30 seconds, but I decided just to wing it and go for a whole 45 second burst, still at that power of four. And you can see the paper's pretty dry, it feels dry, and uh, I'm going to call these guys done. And so let's try a different plant, different flower, and see how that works. Um, let's try this lovely Black Eyed Susan. And one thing you can do to prep these is to put them in a book for, you know, even just for like a half an hour, or just some kind of wait to start initially pressing them down. I didn't do that, so I'm just going to do it with my hand. Try and... There we go. That looks pretty good. All right, let's see. So again, I'm just going to start a minute and a half, because I just want to do a little bit at a time. Wow, so after just a minute and a half, the centers might have some moisture to them still, but those paddles really shrank shrank down because um, they're delicate and that's that's gonna happen um, but they are just a little bit wet I could probably put these in another 30 seconds just to dry them the rest of the way so you know try that so another 30 seconds and uh, it's pretty pretty dried out which is impressive because that center is really thick on there but that feels good and um, petals are not as full but I still, I really kind of like how that looks with the green in between. And the little one came out pretty well too. So set those aside and I'm gonna start trying out these dandelion flowers from uh, not kind of the same dandelions that grow. These are um, a dandelion, Italian dandelions that I planted years ago for the leaves, for the culinary aspect. And they still come up because it is a wildflower. And they're a little bit more delicate, so I've sort of pressed them open on here and laying them down as flat as I can to begin with and put them in the microwave. I'm going to start with just a minute on these because they're a little bit more delicate, so I want to take it slow. And let's see. They're getting there, but yeah, these are still pretty wet, so flip this guy back over to be on the same page <laughs> and now I'm gonna do another just I'm gonna go 30 seconds oh heck let's say 40 seconds let's do 40 seconds see if we can finish drying those the rest of the way okay. 40 seconds it's still stuck to that parchment yeah I think these need a little a little bit longer still, especially since it's really stuck down. This one is stuck down on the parchment, um, which is indicating there's still some moisture to it. So we'll try another, we'll just go 30 seconds this time. So every time placing it in the center of the microwave and I'll put my plate on top. Covering the flowers, and away we go. Okay. Let's, let's see. They are almost there. I think just one more burst at the 30 seconds. Um, get, I'm surprised. I didn't realize how much moisture would be in the centers, but there, there's, it's pretty dense, right? There's a lot of little petals, there's a nice fuzzy center that a dandelion has. So we'll just do a little bit more, because I want them to be pretty, pretty dry. Okay, so these, I would say, um, pretty dry. They're pretty much holding that shape when I pick it up. So... We can move on to the next flower. Oh, those look so cute, though. Set those aside. And now I want to try the Cosmos. And again, this one's a pretty delicate. It still has a fairly thick, fuzzy center, but the petals are so delicate. So I'm going to press the center a little bit with my thumb to help open it up. And this one, I'm going to start off as well, just a minute. 
you know the power at four on the microwave so it's not full power and take this one nice and gentle okay so there is the cosmos after just a minute it's still pretty wet um, I accidentally knocked a petal off when I was trying to place it so that's unfortunate but it'll be fine and again this was just kind of to experiment um, as I get more cosmos flowers blooming I could always you know I'll know the technique and I can do it with some of the other ones so this was just kind of again the experiment so I'm gonna give this one another 30 seconds and see where we end up after that Ooh, my plate is getting hot now okay seconds all right so after 30 seconds as I start to lift it it's it's a little bit still uh, flimsy it's not quite you know stiff like a dried flower so I'm just gonna give it one more bout at 30 and I think it'll be done Okay, so just a couple more that I'm going to try is, uh, one is this uh, purple cone flower, which I mentioned, you know, it has a pretty thick center, and I've been pressing it with my finger and my thumb to kind of flatten it, help open it up a little bit, and uh, I expect this one's going to take overall probably closer, three to four minutes definitely, but I'm still going to begin just that minute and a half. Okay, so the last uh, set of flowers I have are these two zinnias that, like I said, kind of underdeveloped. And um, zinnias usually have a lot of different layers, many layers of petals. But these didn't get as much sun where they are anyway, so they're a little bit smaller. But uh, I think they're going to work out just fine. So here they are before, and then we'll see them after. Okay, zinnias after a minute and a half definitely still have a lot of moisture. I bet it's going to take closer to another minute and a half for these to be finished. Alright, so I'm back outside with the results of my experiment with pressing flowers in the microwave. So here I have my experiment, uh, nice and flat, uh, still pretty good color though. So these turned out really well. Uh, let's see, the spearmint was about 2 minutes 45 seconds. Then I have the Black Eyed Susan flowers, which overall took about, only about 2 minutes, which was kind of surprising. Uh, they're small though, so maybe that's why. My dandelion flowers, those were about a 2 and a half minute. Uh, the Cosmos that lost a couple petals uh, was 2 and a half minutes. I have a purple cone flower. Uh, that I didn't show you the whole process with. I just kind of showed you that I was going to do it. Um, so that one overall was about three and a half minutes, and then these zinnia flowers, just about three minutes. And so quality they all have is they're really flat, and they hold their shape. They're not floppy when you pick them up because all that moisture's been taken out. And I'm actually going to show you a quick little video of what zinnia flowers do look like when they're more fully developed since I keep talking about that a couple times in the video here. But just to review the process, you want to, um, you know, just start with about a minute to a minute and a half. You have a parchment paper with uh, something that's wide and flat that is kind of heavy that is microwave safe that you can put on top. and. So a minute to a minute and a half, your microwave should be powered at about half power. And just do from there little bits at a time, 30 seconds at a time beyond that first initial minute, minute to a half. But maybe once you get the process down, you can experiment with putting a flower in there for, you know, the whole two minutes. But things will vary depending on when you pick your flowers. So if you pick them in the morning, they're going to have a lot more moisture on them than they would later in the day. Also, if it happens to be a really humid day, it might take longer drying them out in the microwave as well. But I hope you guys give this a chance. Let's go over and peek at my zinnias real quick. And we'll be wrapping this up. Okay, so that is the experiment of pressing flowers in the microwave. And I just wanted to close by showing you all 
what zinnias really do look like. <laughs> so they, I mean, they do vary. I just feel like I kept talking about how they usually have more petals. Like even this one has at least two layers. This one has lots and lots of layers of petals. But I think, you know, it would still work really well to press it. Um, and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna give one of these a try. It's a really nice full head and see how that works out. So I hope you guys have fun trying out microwave press flowers. It's a fun and quick craft, especially if you want to do something on a greeting card or, you know, frame it. You know, just place them uh, in a frame under glass and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.